Hello friends, here we will covered one more feature of teacher module, and here we will discuss how to edit or update existing teacher data. In previous part, we have seen how to view teacher details in bootstraps modal, by simple click on view button. For edit data, we have go to teacher.php file, and here we have write, dollar document selector with on method, and under this we have right click event, with button class edit teacher, so when admin click on edit button, then this block of code will execute. Under this block, we have write teacher ID variable is equal to, dollar this with attribute method, and under this we have write id, it will fetch value from id attribute. Below this we have called clear field function, this function will clear all form fields, or validation error from form field. Now we have start write ajax request, and under this we have write first option, URL has been set to teacheraction.php, it will send request to this file. In second option, we have write method, and here we have write post method, so it will use method for send data to server. In third option, we have write data option, and in this option we can define which data we want send to server, so here we have define action variable with edit fetch value, and teacher id variable. In fourth option, we have write data type option set to json, so it will receive data from server in json format. Lastly, we have write success callback function, this function has been called if ajax request completed successfully and it will receive data from server. Under this function, we have write dollar with text box id teacher name with value method, and under this we have write data dot teacher name variable, it will assign value in teacher name text box. Below this, we have write, dollar with text area field id, teacher address with value method, and under this we have write data dot teacher address variable, it will assign value address field. At the time of edit data operation, admin cannot edit email and password details, this details can be changed only by teacher. For assign value to grade select box, so we have write dollar with select box id teacher grade id with value method, and under this we have write data dot teacher grade id variable, it will assign value to teacher grade id field. Same way for teacher qualification field. Here we have write dollar with text box id teacher qualification dot value method, and under this we have write data dot teacher qualification variable. Now for assign value of teacher date of join field. Here we have write, dollar with text box id teacher date of join with value method, and under this we have write data dot teacher date of join variable. After this we want to display teacher image under form, so here we have write dollar with span tag id error teacher image, with html method, and under this we have write image tag with source is equal to teacher image folder slash data dot teacher image variable, it will display teacher image. Below this, 
we have right dollar with hidden tag ID hidden teacher image, with value method and under this we have write data dot teacher image, it will assign teacher image name to this hidden field. After this, we have write dollar with hidden field ID teacher ID, with value method, and under this we have write date dot teacher ID, this code will assign teacher ID value to this hidden field. For change modal title, here we have write dollar with division tag ID modal title, with text method and under this we have write edit teacher, it will change modal title. Same way we want to change submit button text, here we have write dollar with submit button ID, button action with value method, and under this we have write edit, it will change submit button text. After this we want to define database action, so here we have write dollar, with hidden field ID action, with value method, and under this we have write edit, it will assign this value to action hidden field. Lastly, we want to pop up modal on web page, so here we have write dollar with modal ID for modal with modal method, and under this we have write show, it will pop up modal with field data on web page. Now we have go to teacher action.php and here we have write if statement and under condition we have write dollar post action variable is equal to edit fetch if this condition true then it will execute if block of code under this block we have write dollar query variable is equal to select star from teacher table where teacher id is equal to dollar post teacher id variable below this query we have write dollar statement variable is equal to dollar connect variable with prepare statement and under this we have write dollar query variable it will make query for execution for execute query, we have write if statement and under condition, we have write dollar statement variable with execute method, if query successfully run then it will execute if block of code. Under this block, we have write dollar result variable is equal to dollar statement variable with fetch all method it will return query execution result. For fetch data from dollar result variable, here we have write for each loop and under condition, we have write dollar result variable as dollar row variable. Under this loop, we have write dollar output teacher name variable is equal to dollar row teacher name variable. Here we have store teacher name data. After this, we have write dollar output teacher address variable is equal to dollar row teacher address variable. Here we have store teacher address data. For store qualification details, here we have write dollar output teacher qualification variable is equal to dollar row teacher qualification variable. Same way for store teacher date of join data. Here we have write dollar output teacher date of join variable is equal to dollar row teacher date of join variable. After this, we have write dollar output teacher image variable is equal to dollar row teacher image variable. Here we have store teacher image name. Below this, we have write dollar output teacher grade ID variable is equal to dollar row teacher grade ID variable. 
here it has store teacher grade details. Lastly, we want to store teacher ID details, so here we have write dollar output teacher ID variable is equal to dollar row teacher ID variable. So, here we have store single teacher data under this dollar output variable. Now we want send this data to Ajax request in JSON format. So, we have write echo statement with json encode method and under this we have write dollar output variable it will send data to ajax request in json format now check output in browser friends first we have refresh web page and on web page we can see teacher data with view edit and delete button now we have click on edit button. After click on edit button, modal has been pop up on web page, so here we can see teacher form with field data, here modal title and submit button also change. So, when we have click on edit button, then form has been submitted, and this code we have already covered at the time of add new data, so now we want to write only PHP script for edit data. For this, we have go to teacher action.php file, and here we have write if statement and under condition we have write dollar post action variable is equal to edit. If this condition true then it will execute if block of code. Under this block, we have write dollar data variable is equal to array, with first key double colon teacher name, with value get from dollar teacher name variable. In second key, we have write double colon teacher address, and in this key we have set dollar teacher address variable as value. In third key, we have write double colon teacher qualification, and in this key we have set dollar teacher qualification as value. In fourth key, we have write key double colon date of join, and in this key we have write dollar teacher date of join variable as value. In fifth key, we have write double colon teacher image, and in, in this key we have write dollar teacher image variable as value. In sixth key, we have write double colon teacher grade ID, and in this key we have write dollar teacher grade ID variable as value. And in last key, we have write double colon teacher ID, and in this key we have write dollar post teacher ID variable as value. So here we have store form data under this dollar data variable as array. Now we have write dollar query variable is equal to update teacher table set teacher name is equal to double colon teacher name teacher address is equal to double colon teacher address teacher grade id is equal to double colon teacher grade id teacher qualification is equal to double colon teacher qualification teacher date of join is equal to double colon teacher date of join and teacher image is equal to double colon teacher image, where teacher ID is equal to double colon teacher ID, so this is update data query. Now we have write, dollar statement variable is equal to, dollar connect variable with prepare statement, and under this we have write dollar query variable, it will make query for execution. 
For execute query, we have write if statement and under condition, we have write dollar statement variable with execute method, with dollar data variable, if query successfully run then it will execute if block of code. Under this block, we have write dollar output variable is equal to array, with key success value set to message like data edited successfully, this data will be sent to Ajax request in JSON format, now we have check output in browser. Friends, first we have refresh web page, after refresh of web page we can see teacher data on web page, here we want to check edit data operation. So, here we have click on this row edit button, after click on edit button, modal has been pop up on web page with field form data, for check edit data operation, here we have changed some teacher data. After change of data, we have click on edit button. After click on edit button we can see data edited success message on web page. Now we want to change teacher image. So we have again click on edit button. And now we have select click on file tag and select teacher image from local computer and after this we have click on edit button. After click on edit button, we have received success edit message on web page, and here we can see teacher image also change, so here teacher edit feature is completed, and in next part we will discuss, how to delete or remove teacher data in teacher module. If you have any query or input regarding this video tutorial, please comment your query or input in comment box, or if you like this video tutorial please share with your friends, or even you can also share on social media also. If you want to get more update regarding our video tutorial, please subscribe our YouTube channel for get more update regarding release of future video. Lastly keep watching our YouTube channel. Thanks for watching this video tutorial.